Hello everyone, Jack95 Game here and we're back with episode 36 of the Mass Southampton career mode and um, we're kicking off games in our second leg game against Tottenham then we have an FA Cup tie against um, Newcastle coming up um, and then we are at home at St Mary's against uh, Arsenal I do believe so hopefully we can get all the wins possible in this episode and uh, guys just as this episode's planning obviously we're playing a full strength side against Tottenham I just want to say um, I'm not really enjoying Southampton career mode so guys I think if I ended this season, I'm going to end it and hopefully wait for next gen to come out where I can start fresh again because I need something fresh because really not enjoying it. But I'm definitely enjoying my FIFA 14 Ultimate Team content that I'm going to be, be producing. So hopefully um, that you, you, that'll be enough for you guys to enjoy it. But obviously, guys, as you can see, here's the Tottenham lineup now coming out. I just wanted to get that out there because um, obviously I haven't been uploading career mode as much as um, I should be. So um, let's get into this episode and as you can see guys we kick off in the first couple of minutes with Tottenham with the ball with Manuel Adebayor plays it into Dembele great ball into Norton keeper commits himself very poor um, from uh, Costil there and Adebayor is there to turn it into the back of the net to um, give Spurs a little bit of a chance so we're winning 4-0 on aggregate but um, Tottenham getting the early goal you, you know anything can happen in football and it was a good goal from Manuel Adebayor to make it 1-0 so we move on into the 25th minute now. Tottenham really piling on the pressure in. San, um, Sandro just absolutely breaks way out of the, out of the fence and piles that into the bottom corner. Great goal from Sandro there. And Tottenham are definitely back in the game now with a shot at 4-2. And um, we're looking very, very uh, on the ropes, really. Very poor display from the, us at the moment. 36 minutes though, Ola Jean picks up the ball, plays it into Koke. Great little footwork from him there. Plays it into Lukaku, who's away now. Great ball from Ola Jean. First time ball taken down beautifully from Lukaku. And he puts a... Um, Probably the, the lid back on the coffin there because um, Tottenham and they was getting back into the game. You know, only two more goals, but we've just put the game, um, deficit back to three, and that's really um, that's just a bullet in the foot for Tottenham really because uh, poor defending, you know, lack pace at the back, and Lukaku's not going to um, miss an easy chance like that to make it two one now on the night five two and aggregate. So we're going at half time, guys, at two one. Sandro and Adebayor with the goals, and Lukaku with the other goals. So it's been an interesting game so far, and as you can see, we've only had the one shot, and Spurs were pretty much dominant. So we need to come out in the second half and show why we deserve to book our place in the final. And in the 67th minute, guys, we pick up the ball here. Schneiderlin plays a great ball into Luke Shaw, into um, Kote, takes a shot. It is um, a, produces a great save from Gomez there, and. Uh, be beginning to panic, we want to see this game out. So we give Lewis Holtby a chance to come back at, at White Hart Lane and prove himself along with Locardia and Rodriguez. And in the 77 minute, guys, Rodriguez picks up the ball, absolutely breaking that line. A goal here would kill off Spurs, any chance for Spurs come back. And he puts the ball in, and Locardia is there to turn it into the bottom corner. Gomez, no chance, a beautiful header from Locardia. 10 minutes left to go in the game, and um, we booked that for place in the Capital One final with a great goal there from um, Jurgen Locardia. And. Pfft, it, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, to be honest with you. Um, we just absolutely just gave him the sucker punch, and um, that is all she wrote in this game, guys. 6 2 and aggregate in the game does finish 2 2. A very well deserved win. Well, actually, from the first leg, yes, the second game, I do think Spurs should have got something out of it. But in the end, they didn't. You know, we come into it a little bit out of heart in the second half, but. Spurs pretty much did deserve to get the win, but the game finished at 2-2. Going into our next game now, guys, against Newcastle. Uh, it's going to be a very di um, difficult game, you know. Osvaldo returning again, and we're going to play a very weak side. Not very weak, our cup side, really. And we play Rodriguez out on the left, who's um, playing quite well, actually, for us at the moment. So, guys, here is the FA Cup. Um... Obviously, booking our face place. Well, I keep saying face. Booking our place in the final of the Cup One Cup has given us a big boost. And as you can see, here is Newcastle's team: Sissoko, Osvaldo, Ben Arthur, and Ita, all very, um, very, very hard opponents to come up against. And as you can see, a very strong back forward: Taylor, Colacini, Yang, and Biwa, and Santon. Very, very hard team to break down. Uh, a minute into the game, though, guys, Chambers picks up the ball, plays a great ball into Donny Menga, who's advanced. He's been so fantastic this season. Picks up the ball, crosses it in. Rodriguez is um, there, goes over his head, and Locardio so an absolute powerful bullet of a header into the back of the net. No chance for Tim Krull in the back, um, in the goal. And there we have it, guys. A 1 0 up in just the opening couple of minutes, and it was a great header. Look at this. Look at this header from Locardio. You can't get any better than this. Uh, no chance for, um, I think that's Taylor coming up against him. You know, he didn't get to see the goal there. We'll see it now, though. Uh, Colocini, poor defensive header, can't get rid of it, and uh, Newcastle find themselves at 1-0 down. 
at St Mary's. So uh, seven minutes in now, guys. Mikhailo gets picked out again by Donny Menga. Picks up the ball, takes the shot off the post. I can't believe it, guys. And um, basically Newcastle still in with a fighting chance. Seventy minutes in now, guys. Anita picks up the ball, plays a great little through ball into Sizoko, who finishes the ball into the bottom corner. A nice tidy finish. Twenty minutes into the game, and uh, Newcastle are back on terms, which is very very gutting for us. But there's nothing we can do, is there? So. Uh, that is all, well, that's not all she wrote, but yeah. Now coming up, guys, look what happened there. 22 minutes in, they pick win the ball back. Lucaria, absolute idiot, slides in through the back. It's, it's a blatant red card, no, can't argue with that. Um, takes down Sizoko, could have injured him, and Lucaria um, puts us down to 10 men. So we do actually switch up. We do put um, Rodriguez at the striker position and play Dolly Menga still on the right. But hopefully now we can get a result from this because it, um, it is against us now. Menga then crosses the ball in and finds uh, Jay Rodriguez, but it's a, um, a poor header. And again, exactly the same what happened. Menga picks up the ball now, guys. Plays the ball into Rodriguez, takes a shot, and oh, it just goes over. And we're unlucky not to go ahead in this game now. So, um... Very, very uh, disappointing stuff from the lads in front of goal at the moment. But as you can see, guys, we do win the corner. And um, we're going to whip this one in, I believe, with... Uh, I think it's Crespo, actually. Yeah, we do. The left back whips the ball in. The, whip, the man that's come from, um, obviously, Ipswich. Finds Yoshida, and it's off the line. Good defending there from Newcastle. And we do go in at the interval at 1-1. Um, even though we're down to 10 men, guys, we've still dominated pretty much the, the whole of the game. Six shots to there, too. And it's 50-50 in the middle of the, um, in, on the park. So, uh, can't argue with that. So, guys, let's go into the second half and see what can happen. 54 minutes in there, guys. Uh, great ball into Lucas Piazon. 55 minutes in, crosses that ball in. Rodriguez is there and produces a great save from Timmy Crawl in goal. 62 minutes in, Crawl kicks the ball out. Um, poor defending there. Rodriguez plays the ball into Piazon, who just buries it into the bottom corner. He's not going to make any mistake there. And we find ourselves 2 1 up, 10, um, down to 10 men, but that. Obviously, it did not phase us because Lucas Pearson is off celebrating his goal to make it, um, I believe, 2-1 there. So, Newcastle are going to be very depleted by that and deflated. But, you know, they had to take advantage of it and they didn't. And we find ourselves now ahead of, this, ahead of the game, 2-1 up. Now, we've gone to the next highlight, 69 minutes in. Colacini picks up the ball. Don't know what he's doing here. Yang and Briwa gets um, like caught out by Rodriguez, and he's gonna make no mistake, and he's gonna finish that to kill the game off at 3-1. With just 20 minutes left to go, no Newcastle could get back in the game. You know, even getting the striker sent off, we looked like we was gonna struggle in front of goal, but um, that quickly got um, well just thrown out the water because what a great goal from the Englishman Jay Rodriguez, proving himself in front of goal yet again, and uh, another great performance by him to make it 3-1 now against Newcastle, so good play from the lads, 73 minutes in now guys, great little bit of football here, Gosling picks up the ball, uh, it's a deflected shot, poor defending, falls to Anita with a cleanly driven shot into the bottom corner, 15 minutes left to go, and Newcastle are now again back in with a shot and momentum, perhaps their way with that goal, even though it was poor defensive, uh, take nothing away from the shot, and the game now becomes 3-2, so Newcastle on their goal behind, so starting to panic a little bit, we do bring on Isgrove, Jason Punch on and Emre Can, you know, some defensive changes and see if we can get a result from this game. 81st minute in now, guys. Great ball in. Cesar heads it down to um, Colaccini with a powerful shot. Should have found the back of the net, but it didn't, guys. And we actually just nick the win from this and go to the next round. And, um, yeah, that's all she wrote. 3-2. And it was a good result from us. As you can see, here's the stats. We actually kind of did dominate the game, really. And uh, we're going to the um, transfer deadline now, day now, guys. Nothing's really happened, but we do decide to offer Benoit Costil for Fraser Forster, a younger goalkeeper, only by a year. But I feel like he's going to be a better um, asset to the team. And as you can see, so we do accept that. And um, we offer 35k a week, I do believe, and a four-year deal. Eventually, it's going to come, guys. And, um, yeah, Fraser Forster is going to... Um, be a well, hopefully be a um. A play Actually, we do get him in, but I don't put it in. I'm an absolute idiot. But yeah, guys, we do get Fraser Forster, and he's in the starting lineup, as you can see there. Um, and we have a game against Arsenal, so it's going to be a very um good <laughs> warm up game for him. See how he does. As you can see, Arsenal one of the teams at the top of the table. It's our first Premier League game of the episode, um, and it's the last one. So what fitting way? For us to end it playing uh, a team like Arsenal, who I do believe are going to be up the top of the league somewhere. I think anyway. Um, let's have a look. The league table is going to come up any second now. And as you can see, Arsenal is sitting just behind us. Three points behind us. So it's going to be a very interesting game indeed. Here's the Arsenal out. Vaughn Sagna, Marlon Koscielny, Gibbs, Wilshere Kadira, Walcott, Adele Tarrat, Mesut Ozil and 
Edin Dzeko, a very strong Arsenal side. Hopefully Arsenal and Wenger's men um, are not on the ball today because we need to get a result. And in the fifth minute, guys, a great corner in. Finds Dejan Lovren with a headed effort, but it's well held by Michel Vaughan. Uh, 14th minute, Lukaku picks up the ball, plays a great ball into Schneiderlin, takes a little touch and a clean shot into the bottom corner. 15 minutes in, finds the back of the net. Great play there from the lads. And we find ourselves 1-0 up against Arsenal. And uh, that's a, a well-deserved. We, we need three points for this game to um, put, a, put a gap between us because we want to finish as high as possible in the league this season. And... Um, yeah, it started off well. 22 minutes in, Lucas Shaw picks up the ball, finds a way to Koke, takes a shot and produces another great save from Michel Vorm. Nothing we could do about that, but um, Vorm, he's just been on great form and Koke. Unlucky not to find back in that there. 30 minutes in now, guys. Well, check this out. Gibbs picks up the ball, great ball into Dzeko with an... <laughs> That's goal of the season. That is goal of the season. That's the best goal ever been scored against me by the computer. Um, Edin Dzeko, take a bow, son, because that is a fabulous goal. Um, look at this, great ball in, and he just spins in midair and just buries it into the back of the net. 1-1, one, one, and he can't complain about that. Great goal from Arsenal. 45th minute now, guys, they pick up the ball again. Uh, great little football. Ozil plays a great ball into Edin Dzeko. Surely he's not going to score again. He does, guys. Buries it into the bottom corner to make it 2-1 right on half-time. An absolute bullet to us. Um, Ozil, bit, the difference maker, what a great ball in there. Split our defence apart. Lover ain't catching him. Or Klein. And it's a great finish from the big Bosnian to make it 2-1 on the half-time interval. So, um, a very disappointing there from us. But we need to bounce back and show what we are made of. So, um, as it is, is the half-time stats. Arsenal not very dominant in possession. You know, they only had two shots and they scored the two goals. But Ozil, obviously... You can't discount the goals because they were quite good goals. Anyway, 57 minute, Klein breaks through here. I think he's going to score, but great defending from Arsenal. Stops him in our track. 62 minutes now, Ozil takes a free kick. I mean, um, Jack Wilshere takes a free kick and it's easily held from uh, um, Fraser Forster in goal. But as you can see, we do bring on the Rodriguez, Menga and Lucas Pearson trying to get the game back. And uh, we get our chance in, in extra and added time. Look at this. Lucas Pearson, great acceleration and a great strength and um, ability to power that ball into the bottom corner and actually score the goal to rescue us the ball, um, not just rescue us the points to um, keep Arsenal behind us. And that's going to end today's episode, guys. I'm sorry that it's been a, probably a poor episode. Um, I haven't recorded in a while, but hopefully um, you enjoyed this content, guys. And uh, I'll be announcing the winner of my 7-Minute Squad series um, of Dean Natale next. So make sure you get them likes and, and uh, comment and subscribe. So I um, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.